Hello everyone, my name is Hiking Viking and I just bought my first e-bike. Like I told you in the previous video, I'm going to take a three months um, training course about driving a bicycle every day, commuting with that, going to work. And uh, it's in the midst of winter, but I think I'm ready for the challenge. And uh, I also could lose a kilo or two. I bought practically the cheapest e-bike what you can buy today from the good quality company. This is the Zenit bikes. It's a Swiss brand and uh, it's uh, with the 36 volts engine providing me 250 watts help. It didn't came like this. I have been a little bit uh, pimping it myself. Excuse me for the mud flaps. This I bought extra. And in front we also have one. And what else have I done here? Uh, the light, of course. That is, uh, it's uh, street legal also during the dark hours. And behind we got also one. I have never been driving this kind of vehicle before, but uh, what is the better place to find it out how it is than being out here in the beautiful Appenzellerland of Switzerland. Up here, the sun is shining, the weather is beautiful. Let's enjoy this beautiful sunny Sunday together and find out, is this any good or <laughs> should I return it, basically? Uh, a little more specs from the bike. It's having a 27 and a half inch wheels. There is a front brake and the rear brake. They are both uh, with the discs and pistons, of course. It should give me like 21 different uh, speed gear rate ratios. Here in front, we have uh, three gears and behind we got seven. And here we have the battery back the shock absorbers. You can also lock this if you want, so... Um, but I leave it open. Let's go to find out if it's any good.
that was that was pretty awesome just coming up the hill with really slippery old leaves on it and it was quite steep already but I had no problems of course I'm a little bit out of breath but I think this is what uh, being here out is all about you know not just uh, enjoying letting the engine take you from A to B but going zigzag around and uh, trying to get a little bit better condition also let's continue came down the hill like I don't know almost almost 50 kilometers an hour like you see here is the speed always and then I came to this uh, this crossroads here this junction and I had to brake but I had no problems whatsoever to make a good braking until now I can say this bike is worth every penny I paid for that the normal price 1,900 Swiss francs, which is about the same in euros, and I got it a bit cheaper. I paid 1,099, and all the equipment what I was adding here, the lights, the mud guards, the the lock, uh, I paid like uh, 80 francs about 80 euros addition and I've been thinking I'm driving three months with this e-bike and if it's any good and if it's still okay I'm keeping it if it's not good I'm still driving three months and I'm selling this I will get my money back whatever you know maybe this is not the right bike for me maybe it's too small bike for me maybe it's not uh, giving me enough support on the hills We'll see. First we have to go down this hill to find out how we can go up the other hill.
So what we just saw is that it is supporting and you can go really steep slopes. Uh, but if the slope is mucky, muddy, slippery like this and quite steep also, uh, then the question is if your rear wheel is uh, having enough profile. I just noticed that this is not okay. Uh, you, need, you, you really need to have a monster wheel behind and it's working on this kind of surface here. Otherwise, it goes. It just needs to spin like one time empty and that's the end of the road. What is good in this is that it's having a push function. I can just press this minus button here and the bike starts to move itself. I just need to keep this thumb on this button. I was just adjusting the gears, gear changer, and thanks internet, <laughs> I could do that. Seems to be like that this screw here is uh, really important when it comes to uh, gear changers working. It didn't want it to change, so I was like opening this one or making it tighter basically, I don't know which one. But then it was moving this lever down here and it started to work as it should be. It's like the cheapest one what you can get from Shimano. Um, but it's still a Shimano, it seems to work. I'm um, happy. It's just that when you take the bike out from the box, probably it's not working like it should be from the get-go. So. These kind of small things can happen and they, they need you to do something. I'm glad I could do it myself and not uh, having to take it somewhere to, uh, you know. My bike is now so dirty that I probably um, I'm staying out from the dirt tracks now. But what we still have to do is uh, go to find that uh, uphill. And for that, we probably have to first go down.
Here we go. It's not a very steep hill, but this is a long one. I'm having second second support mode on and yeah, I really have to paddle. It's not like I don't have to, but it helps me. And the battery it's still it's still showing me totally full. So I think this is the way you should try with this. Take it down when you go downhill. Turn it off. And then when you need it, use it. Now it's more flat. I can put it to number one. Or even take it away. So but oh boy I I see the difference when I take it away. Let's put number one on. <laughs> Cat was like, what? Such a beautiful day today. It's a perfect day for this kind of cruising. kilometers so far to be honest with you guys I would have never thought I could just like that do an 18 kilometers bicycle tour but with this e-bike yeah why not um, this is uh, supporting me to 25 kilometers an hour and then it's cutting the support away uh, there are stronger e-bikes on the market. Uh, they are going as fast as 45 kilometers an hour, but those ones you need to have a special um, insurance and uh, register plate and all that uh, funky stuff. So I'm not going there. Uh, 25 kilometers an hour is basically enough. And yeah, downhill you anyway go faster assistant or not 
I'm really surprised the the battery it, it's showing still like it's totally full and I could have easily gone for the longer tour and I'm definitely going to go for a longer tour in the future with this bike. Different video this time. I thank you for watching and uh, if you like it, you know, put the thumbs up, subscribe and so on. See you next time doing something totally different somewhere totally else. Ciao! Sunny weather up here.